so today I was inspired to make this video um, because of a comment that I got yesterday and um, somebody commented on one of my videos and was telling me about um, her horse and if I had any advice for her because her horse has kind of developed this habit of being very pushy would push into her will like move her over has a tendency to cut in very close when they're lunging and um, so she was asking me for any advice and I thought this would be a really good video idea because I have dealt with so many horses that have these issues and it is so annoying it's dangerous if you let your horse continuously get away with it and it's, I just thought it would be a really good good video idea to make so so this video is gonna be good for anybody who is colt starting, has a horse, a new horse that is like this, um, or anything like that. Groundwork is something you want to teach the horse right off the bat, because if you don't have good groundwork, you're not gonna have good anything. So she said her horse is very pushy and pushing into her. Now I'm doing a little work with Calypso here, and as you can see, Calypso kind of keeps inching in towards me, which I don't think is terrible. If the horse is kind of asking for your permission to come back in, to be in your space, I don't find this disrespectful. She just wants to be in my space. So if your horse is very pushy or likes to get into your space like this a lot or is very invasive, give him a little of this, you know. Calypso knows what this means. And she'll back up. Just a little shake of the rope. Or if you have to, give her a little yank and she'll back up a little bit. Some horses really don't know what this means. So if you have to, Give them a little slap with your rope on the chest. Do that. Whatever you need to do to get your horse moved out of your space and to teach your horse that you don't want them constantly in your space. Um, I'm somebody who believes in beating kids when kids are bad. My mom slapped my ass with a wooden spoon when I was younger. If I was being disrespectful, invasive, mouthy, anything like that. And I definitely believe in the same with horses. You have to be assertive with horses and none of this touchy-feely stuff, I can't hit my horse, my horse is my baby. That's not gonna get you anywhere with your horse, okay, I'm sorry, but it's not. You need to be assertive with your horse. If your horse is pushing into you, um, I'll give you an example. One time I had this horse at the ranch I used to work at, and he was tied up in the corral, and I was going to take him to the pasture. And so I unhooked his halter and had it around his neck, right? He pushes past me, and I, he's dragging me, basically, by his halter around his neck because he did not care where I was at. He completely ignored me, pushed right past me, and was now dragging me to the gate to the pasture because I was completely irrelevant to him. Those are kind of behaviors that are going to lead up to a more dangerous horse when you let them get away with those things. When you let your horse know that he has control over you and you know that the horse knows you're afraid of him, you are gonna encounter a lot of problems. The horse knows that he um, has power over you. The horse knows that they can kick you in the head and take off if they want to. Um, but you need to assert those behaviors before you let your horse take advantage of you that way. Um, because that's gonna lead to an intimidating horse and then nobody's gonna want a horse like that. Nobody else is gonna be able to handle your horse except you. So if you need to give your horse a slap, hit him with a rope to get him out of your space and to teach them that respect, do it, just do it. Um, that doesn't make you a bad horse owner or an animal abuser. That makes you an assertive trainer that knows your boundaries and is gonna lead to a much better horse later on in life. Um, and I'm all about being equal with the horse. Horsemanship is not one of those I'm on top of you type of things. Um, you need to be equal with the horse and have equal respect with each other, but you cannot establish that until you set these boundaries and until you set the barriers of where your horse stands in this relationship, then you're never going to have a successful relationship with your horse. You need to set these boundaries so that he knows what's acceptable and what's not acceptable before he needs to respect me for me to respect him. So, so you have to set those boundaries and those rules and say this is how it's gonna work this is what we're gonna do and you're gonna respect me then you can respect the horse and give him that same respect back um, you can see Calypso standing really nice here she's still inching towards me a little I don't find this that disrespectful because she's still you know respecting my space she's not pushing me over or moving me with her body because when horses move you 
and push into you if she was pushing me like this, how I just pushed her head away. That's the horse saying, I'm higher than you, you're not important, get out of my way, you're smaller than me, and I'm on top. That is not okay when you're gonna deal with horses, especially large horses. That's um, something this girl said in the video. Large horses are gonna take advantage of us small women. I mean, most, most um, people in the horse world are women these days. But if you have a really large horse and he knows that you are afraid of him and that he will take advantage of you, he'll do it. Horses will do that. And eventually that's gonna result in not mutual respect. That's gonna result in me fighting with my horse, trying to get him to cooperate, trying to get him to move how I want him to, and me fighting with my horse because my horse doesn't respect me first. So you can see Calypso's really nosy here. She's trying to bite my legs, and I'm just giving her a little kick with my foot, saying, no, I don't want you biting my legs. She's young, so she's gonna try and test me here to see how close she can get and what she can get away with. That's extremely normal for horses, especially if the horse doesn't know you. If they don't know you, they're gonna try and push you and get you out of the way and see what they can do, um, even when riding. So you have to be assertive and let the horse know, no, I am in charge. This is how this is gonna work. You respect me and I'll respect you back. Um, I know, lady, I'm talking your ear off, aren't I? But yeah, so, I just wanted to address that in a video and um, because there's so much that goes into groundwork and building that respect with the horse because if you're breaking out the horse, you're setting that horse up for every human relationship that he's going to have in his life. So if you allow him to be pushy and aggressive and um, everything like that, then you're setting up humans later down the line that are going to have to deal with that, correct the problem and or make him an intimidating, dangerous horse. Because when the horse learns that he can take advantage of you, he can push you, you're never gonna be able to have other people comfortable handling him, especially children. I'm all about getting the horse as broke and as calm and safe as possible so that I can have a successful relationship with him, the horse can have a successful career. I am not afraid to take him to public places, to be around children. And so I wanna set the horse up for that life um, that I'm preparing him for. And that's not, I don't feel like that is taking the horse out of the horse or, um, you know, breaking the horse. Because I'm not saying that the horse, you know, can't be a horse, but when he's around me, if he's doing dangerous behavior or pe behavior that could potentially threaten me, it's not okay. I don't want him to act like that or think that that is okay. And if you disagree with that, that's fine. But you might not be uh, into horses because that's just kind of a thing that every horse needs to learn, especially young horses like this. See how she's trying to nibble me? Yeah, no, I don't want you to bite me. Get out of my space. Um, but yeah, you're not being mean to the horse. You have to teach the horse those boundaries. So that's kind of my stance on it. That is my um, issue with people um, who let their horses do that kind of stuff. It does depend on your training style. If you're somebody who doesn't mind the horse being in your space, that's fine. Excuse me, that's fine. Um, but I personally like a bubble. I want the horse to know that um, he doesn't need to be in my bubble 24 seven, such as Calypso is here. I'm gonna back her up a little. She comes back in, nope, back her up again. Keep space a little bit. Um, but yeah, some people don't mind it. I, I really don't enjoy having horses 24 seven needing to be in my space. Um, you see, once she leans back in, I'm gonna correct her again, say no, I didn't ask you to come back in. Now, once the horse relaxes and stays here, is accepted of you not wanting them in their space, once they accept that, then you can say, okay, you can come back in. Good girl. Now it's okay. Now I allowed her to come back in. Um, but yeah, pushy, aggressive horses that are going to take advantage of you down the line, you need to address that and make it clear that it is not okay. If you have to hit the horse, do it. I mean, it's, it's getting to the point in the animal and um, any animal world, even with dogs and stuff, where if you hit the horse, it's, oh my god, you hit your horse, like, you can't do that, he can't defend himself. This horse could plow me over in an instant if you wanted to, but you have to teach them and you have to set this horse up for success and for your success too. If you can't get along with your horse because you can't teach them those boundaries of respect, then you're just, you're gonna have a hard time, let me tell you. 
because um, nobody wants to have a constant battle with their horse. So Calypso's been a really good girl here for us today. And um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.